Hey guys, Florida Sports Fan 18 here, back for another video. And this will be my Chargers versus Dolphins week, I mean, Chargers versus Dolphins 2020, week 11 preview week. And I want to say I'm excited for this game because this is a matchup we've been all been waiting for, actually. Justin Herbert against Tua Tagovailoa. One of the two matchups I mean, waiting for. So I'm looking forward to this game, actually. Really looking forward to it. Uh, not going to the game. Like I said, I'm, that's going to be until December. Either it's going to be the Chiefs or the Patriots, but we'll find out. I'll guys let you know and tell you a video on that which game I'm going to be going to. But I want to tell you that I'm actually really looking forward to this game. And I want to make it our five straight win. See that? Five straight. And and this is a team that we should win against, really. And in my opinion, also, about this team, the Chargers, this is a team... That really should have a winning record right now. Really should have a winning record in my opinion. I'm really shocked. Like this team has so much talent. And you're still finding a way to lose. And you got so much talent. A very good receiving core. And a defense that has a lot of star players. And you can't win games. I know. And also some people I have talked to people about the Chargers before. Or, and don't agree with me on this. But I say this goes on coaching a little bit. That. They need a new coaching staff. Justin Herbert needs a new coaching staff the way he wants to succeed here. I know a couple people are saying, well, you can't blame it on the coach. Okay, I can understand last season that last season was a downfall, but this is getting worse. Like, you got all this talent right there. Just like how Kansas City has, like the Chiefs have all that talent. And look what they're doing with this talent, winning games. Like, I think the Chargers really got some very good talent, and they're not even winning games. Like, very unacceptable games that you lost that you had a big lead. Like, okay, like not every game that should be unacceptable. Like, the Chiefs, I know you had a big lead on that one, but it's the Chiefs that you're, they're good at coming back, Patrick Mahomes. That one's understandable. Uh, let's see what else happened. I'm trying to think another game. No. Buccaneers, you had a big lead. Couldn't hold. You were up by 24 to 7. Couldn't win that one. Should have won that one. Another game. Aim. Let's see. Uh, oh, the Broncos. You were you were up twenty four to three, and one bad penalty cost you the game, and you lost that by one point. So another unacceptable one. Let's see. So that's three unacceptable losses you have. Raiders. I can't say too much. Like played a good game, couldn't get to the end zone, so can't say too much about that. But a couple games that you haven't been in close game, and also the Saints too. You had to lead the twenty to three. Couldn't close it out. Bad field goal kicker. Couldn't get the job done. Like, yeah, really. We a bunch of games you should have won. You, oh, yeah. If you would have went to overtime with the Bengals week one when that kicker missed it, you probably would have lost that one as well. But, yeah, really. This team really should be really be a contender for the division this year. And somehow they're not because I don't know what is going on, but it's like it's just not good coaching, I see. And I can tell you, I'm already going to say this to people that I said this to. Coaching is what matters why this team why teams are so good. Chargers need to get a new coach. Anthony Lynn needs to probably be fired at the end of the season. I know some people want him fired in the midseason because of the, of all the bullshit he did this year or all the stupid losses going on on him, like really giving up in that defense, not being really good, that have all this talent at front with Joey Boza in there. And I don't know, is Gordon still there? Gordon, not, not, not the running back Gordon, uh, What's his name? Damn, I forgot his name. Uh, not Melvin Gordon. I'll probably know what the name is, but he's a linebacker too. Let me know if he's still there. I can't remember the name. But, and also, and cornerbacks too. You like cornerbacks. that You got really some, a lot of talent. I don't even know why. Is really holding this team back. A good receiving core with Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Hunter Henry. Like, all this talent and running backs too too with Justin Jackson because I know Eckler is not back yet but from injury but all this talent and you can't win definitely very like definitely like I'm really sorry that I pissed people off about what I said about Justin Herbert like a couple weeks ago but I understand but like I thought he's been playing pretty well but like I said this team really needs to be they really should have a winning record right now not two and six going into this game being two and six I'm not going to say that this should be an easy win because I know the Chargers are pretty good at playing in close game, but something tells me this is going to come down to the wire and become a very close uh, close game. And I can already tell you the Chargers are going to find a way to lose like they did done the whole season. I don't know why, but let's see what happens. 
I want to see Tua put up another big game like he did against the Cardinals. And I heard, too, that Van Noy and uh, Christian Wilkins are out for this game. But I still have faith in our defense still to play pretty well good. I don't know what their injuries are or I don't know what's going on with them, but we'll see. It's nothing serious. And Preston Williams is going to be out for three games. At least the foot injury is not that serious. So he'll be back pretty, be back in three weeks or four weeks, whatever. Matt Breida is still questionable. I hope we get Matt Breida back, back this week because I don't want to see. I'm not. I'm. I don't want to see a lot of Jordan Howard just because Jordan Howard has not impressed me this year. The only thing that has made me impressed with Jordan Howard that he's finding a way to get into the end zone. That's the one thing good thing he's been doing. But yeah, but I hope we get Matt Breida back this week. But we'll see what happens. And, and also too, also about to say too that we're also playing Kalen Balaj, another one that really was not a good fit for our team. Definitely, let's see what he. Let's see. I hope he doesn't get his our revenge or try to do what I said about him a couple months ago. That people are still commenting in my video still. Let's see. Anything else I want to talk about too? Anyone else who needs to step up this week? I'm thinking. Uh, I think there's not about it. Maybe if I'm not mentioning anyone. And oh yeah, too. Oh yeah, too. Brian Flores too is starting to look like he can be a good coach. A good coach out there, like I said. If we win another great, like I said, I know these are games we should win but if we put a again i think the next tough game is the chiefs like i said but i'm not going to get into that early but i just want to show you why this is these games are going to show why brian flores is a good coach when we win in case if we win them we're looking like we could win but we'll see what happened damn there was one more thing i just damn what was it i knew i had one more thing i had to say before i go i'm just trying to think what it was uh what was it uh I'm trying to remember what was it hold on oh i think i'm trying to remember oh yeah oh yeah now i know what i want to say now is that too that definitely that i want to see definitely we got three pro bowlers that i'm looking to see xavier howard emmanuel appa and jason sanders are definitely looking like pro bowlers this year so can't wait to see what they do this sunday too see and I believe that's it, and unless I'm missing something. Damn, I thought I was missing something, but I think I covered everything I said. Then, and like I said, I hope we get Matt Breida back this Sunday. I want to win this game, get to five straight victories, and show that we can be in the place. Oh, now I know what I wanted to say. Now, and definitely, now I figured it out. Yeah, definitely, because right now, good news. If we were in the, if the playoffs ended today, we would be in. But the bad news is we would play the Chiefs. But we can win games. We still got a chance to win the division. But we'll see what happens. We got to still look good. But we look good. Let's see if we can maybe win. Maybe get a better playoff season so we don't have to play the Chiefs. In, and also be in Kansas City if we were wild card, like I said. But we'll see what happens the rest of the way. And I want to say sorry for the late night game post uh, preview because I was busy today. So apologize on that. But that's about it. This is Florida Sports Fan 18. I'll see you guys Sunday after the game. Bye, guys. Guys, enjoy the, your weekend. Bye-bye.